Hello everybody, this is a Lamley Showcase. We've done a lot with the 2019 Hot Wheels E-Case. We've done the case report and the unboxing already. Now it is time to go over what I consider the highlights or the curiosities or the things you want to see. This one's brought to you by Wheel Collectors. They're the ones who sent these models. They get the cases, they send me the photos for the case report, and then they also uh, ask me what I think are the highlights. I tell them, they send them to me, and we showcase them here, we open them up. So let's get right to it. These are the models that I myself are adding to my collection. I'll mention those, which ones are those, and then those that I think people just wanna see. They might be curious about them. And we will start with this one. This one's definitely not going in my collection. It's a movie car. I'm not real into movie cars unless they're replicas of real cars. But this is the basic version of the Back to the Future Time Machine hover mode. It is also, if you find a TH, I think right around there, the super treasure hunt of this case. Lots to talk about this because it won't have real riders on it. It does have wheels. But I don't know if those are going to be real riders, those tiny little wheels down below. Those who have the Super can tell me. But uh, a little bit different color in the TH, of course. But other than that, I think it is the same. So gray color. They got some detailing in the back and uh, detailing in the front. Pretty well done. And uh, we have some uh, designers. We have one in particular who really loves his DeLoreans. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons we see this as a Super Treasure Hunt. I have no problem with it. Another curiosity. We've seen this model before, the Tesla Roadster. Well, we haven't seen it with Starman, but we've seen the Tesla Roadster. Got uh, There was a little moment last year when this Tesla was shot into space by, uh, this Roadster was shot into space by Tesla with this Starman figure. Hot Wheels has definitely um, paid homage to that car by taking their casting, adding this new Starman mold to the car and then uh, into the interior. And then uh, doing a replica. We already saw the one with the space card in the A case. So this one is just a secondary version of that. Has a number. So there we go. Another one that I think is a curiosity. I don't typically uh, showcase or collect the, um, the unlicensed models. But this one is cool. This is the Moto Wing. Kind of a take on a motorcycle. And I mean, there's clearly some influences here. Some airplanes and some like military style uh, motorcycle, really kind of a curiosity. I'll just let the pictures do the talking. You guys can uh, tell me what you think of, uh, of that one uh, down below in the comments. Another one that I just thought was super pretty is the 32 Ford. This one, we've seen this one done in some really nice versions, but uh, this one may be the cleanest and the prettiest. When you get these new steelies, they really add to these castings. And then you put this one in matte black with very minimal kind of gold trim, black rims. Just super, super cool. We've seen a lot of hot rods from Hot Wheels, and this one definitely is a winner for me. You guys tell me what you think. All right. We've kind of been going with some of the, we have a lot of movie cars in this one. This is the TV series Batmobile. Sometimes I showcase it, sometimes I don't. I like this one for several reasons. Number one. It's the first time the Batmobile gets the Steelies. I like these Steelies in just about anything. Number two, this cool matte gray color. Number three, the Ghost Flames. Now, I was really curious about these Ghost Flames because this is not the first time we've seen Flames. Well, we've seen them on a lot of the Batmobiles, the TV Batmobiles. But I was wondering if this one mirrors the Ghost Flames from a few years ago. And if you remember, I'll um, try and uh, remind you Oh, a couple of years ago, maybe three years ago, the Batmobile was released in the standard Batmobile colors, this matte, this black color with the red trim. But if you look closely, you can see it's matte black with some glossy flames. But we obviously had it in black. And then we had, uh, this one was so curious about this one, or what's cool about this one is it was also released as a super treasure hunt. You can see now it's not it's a little bit of a more of the specter flame black comes comes out a little more gray, but the ghost flames are there. What a cool super treasure hunt that was. And then I think the even what topped even both of those was the Zamag version. Because the ghost flames are there and it's totally raw. And if you put that together, then you can see that 
They're not the same, but they're close. The flames are a little bit different on the Zamac version, but uh, it's cool to see another gray Batmobile with the ghost flames. So this one gets added to my collection for sure. I'm a big, I, I think the, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the Batmobile, but I really like this one. I totally, I tell you, I don't collect TV cars or movie cars, and there I go. I collect the TV Batmobile because it's just a cool casting. So I'm not consistent at all. So don't trust me at all. Um, I just collect what I like, right? I guess that's the rule. Volkswagen SP2. Really nice to see this one returning to the uh, basic range. This one was released a few years ago when uh, Hot Wheels did an international uh, new models. or uh, What was it? New models, I think. And then they made it a different line in the United States. But did cars from Europe and South America, and the SP2 is one of them. Uh, released in orange and then we've seen it in several other versions maybe i'll walk through this casting one day because it's a curious uh it's a curious car look it up if you're not familiar with the sp2 it's brazilian um really really cool car i'm really happy to see that one uh released i thought this mustang i i'm really digging speed blur this is leeway's uh whole project doing these speed blur speed blur cars this is the 2018 ford mustang gt I'm trying to see, there's the theme, I don't know if every Speed Blur car has these gray wheels, but the gray wheels are cool, the designs are cool, they're clean, but interesting. Again, I don't know if it'll go in the collection, but I think the Speed Blur cars are really cool and merit some uh, some attention. All right, Porsche 911. So this one was designed so it can have some color breaks. It was designed as a Magnus Walker Por Porsche first. And now we see it as a police car, German police car. And I really like this one. Really like it. So they could probably, I mean, obviously do a white base if they want to do a clean version of this car. But we have a, I think another, I don't know if it's a 70, but it's a, I think a mid-70s Porsche coming out, or maybe an 80s era Porsche. But this one just, they've been doing so many of these. And this one, because they made it look cool with the color break, I really like the police version of that. Another Porsche, Porsche 917 LH. We saw this in Gulf colors last time. Now it comes in a very clean, kind of plain, but very uh, appropriate racing deco. Not much to say about it other than this. I think this casting is so cool. I do want to see that in car culture. I think a lot of you agree with me couple of other European cars before we get to the uh, new models. 15 Mercedes AMG GT. Still thick, kind of busy headlights, but this casting is cool. This is the first time we'll see it without the taillights done, but I think they, in, in place of the taillights, they put this center stripe on. At least the front is done. I think that one looks pretty good. I've collected this casting so far. This one's going to be another one. So it's looked good. I really like how they've kept it kept it fairly clean. Another one to walk through one of these days. And the last before I get to the two stars of this case, the 70 Ford Escort RS 1600. Gumball. The Gumball 3000 Racing Deco. Isn't that like a road rally of some sort, I think? But you can see there's a lot of different uh, decos on this one. And it looks really good. That cream white is cool. This car has just gotten so much good attention. Now that it's got the Fast and Furious Premium version, I think that casting, Super Treasure Hunt, everything is a really good one. All right. These are the highlights. I think both of you agree with me. They are, or both of you. I think many of you agree that these both are the highlights. The brand new models. We'll get to that uh, awesome Z here in a second. Land Rover Series 3 Pickup. My guess is that Dima designed this one too. He's been really liking these kind of designs. Hot Wheels has a... Didn't we see a Land Rover last year too? Debut. This one is so cool. Love that they made it clean. Front decos, rear deco. Or Tampa, whatever you want to say. Just super cool. I'm assuming we'll get some recolors. I hope we get some before we have to just go with all the side deco because I like this one plain. It just seems to work. This is the Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. Hot Wheels has done one before. I think they did it back in the early 90s. Matchbox did one too. But with how things are designed today and how accurate they can become and just in today's kind of car world, 
I love that this car is back and done just from scratch, built from scratch by Dima. He talked about how much of a fan he was of this car. I also, and I know a million other people, were huge fans of the 300ZX when it came out in 1990. The Z32 had a good run, and I still love it when I see it uh, on the road. It's a, it's, it's. If I have to go with a vintage car, one of my favorite vintage cars, if you want to call this vintage, and it's getting close. I mean, it is um, what, almost 30 years old. Um, this one is just so so cool what's your favorite is it the uh is it the z is it the land rover is it something else you can of course give your thoughts about the super treasure hunt decision i like it i think it's hot wheels can do whatever they want so cool with me um it's more fun to find them no matter what they are so i'm a big fan of this case i think it's loaded tell me what you guys think i'll see ya bye